Welcome to Commander Pop Culture, a place to gather magical information with some laughs, might I add. Hey everyone, <clears throat> today I'm playing my three left feet, which is my Felix combat deck. I'll have fun designing this deck because every creature is evasive and has a combat trigger on it. I got two lands and a Steve. I think I'll keep this playing against God Eternal, Oketra, Aminatu, and Xantia. Should be fun. The God Eternal, Oketra, one of the best setups you could have is finding White Mean Lion and just casting it over and over again, bouncing it back to their hand. If he finds Pearl Medallion or something that reduce creature costs, even more effective. And the reason why they want that is because the caster gives them a 4-4 zombie. Get the tap land out of the way. The Aminatu player could be doing multiple different things. They could be doing miracles because they put things back on top of their library. They also have a flicker ability, which lets them get some cool value. Xantia player is normally a, like a big mana deck because if they sink three into it, they drain someone and draw a card. My deck is worth 25 bucks, so we'll see if I'm not budging enough. <laughs> <laughs> In paper, I think this deck comes out to be $98. Don't play my Steve. I do have every color at my disposal. Doesn't really matter what I get. I feel like green is a bigger color in my deck. Nature's Will, that's nice. Uh, whenever I deal damage to someone, I get to untap my lands. Coach is welcome, lets him draw a card whenever a creature with mana value three or less enters the battlefield. That also counts as 4-4 four, four sign. It's pretty sweet. Finds a way to get like a uh, flash, get a draw trigger in everyone's turn. Ah, foreshadowing. I think the, the bigger mana play is better. We'll just hit the guy that's seen the most cards. <laughs> In phase two, play Battleship here. Pretty good sequence, even though I missed a, a land drop. Hopefully I find one so I can play Felix and really take advantage of what's going on here. So other tithe, I don't know if that's a budget card, but probably be diverting my attention to the middle player now. It's hard to say because budget on Moto is entirely different than what it is on paper. Things are way more expensive. In Moto, you could play things like Mana Drain, in a $1 deck because it's so cheap. So I don't know what the price of Smothering Tithe is on Moto, but because I play lists that are budget friendly in paper, I'm kind of playing with my hands behind my back a little bit. Hey, I want to be attacking anyway, so that sounds good. Come on, land. Stumble in a little bit, but it could be worse. I think we play this stuff, get some max value out of my, my gear here. And then I'm gonna exile this Smothering Tithe. I guess I could do it beforehand. Back to Negation is also budget friendly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel bad about hitting you now, for sure. Why are you helping this guy in the middle? Next turn, I can uh, get my commander down, hit someone with my boat, hopefully, draw two cards, and untap my stuff. Then he goes and hits this guy over here, anyways. What is going on? Oh, the good news, nice. Gets two blockers. Whenever a planeswalker comes down, he gets to put an extra loyalty counter on his planeswalkers. That wouldn't be a bad thing to copy. If I had my scheme of thief. I suspect a board wipe's coming, so like, the Ojur is nice. I could go Demon of the Wailing Agonies instead, but I don't want to get blown out too badly. He did go minus two here. <laughs> I feel like he's really close to getting a win here. He needed the Wishclaw Talisman to get something that was not artifact related, or he wanted to get an artifact that was bigger than the loyalty on his Tezzeret. Day of Judgment, all right. Okay. Felix to the command zone, get a land out of the deal, flickering the talisman. Well, it's hard to beat someone who's tutored their library three times in one turn. I'm, I'm not very confident in this game. This out of time kind of sucks, there's only one creature in play. <laughs> My scheme of thieves gonna come back. Needs a swarm on the swelling tag, that's nice. Whatever you do, don't pass it back to the guy. Give it to anybody else but the middle player. Nice thing. This thing's got haste. Also forces everybody to go into combat. And it enables other people's creatures with haste. That's cool. It's weird, because I knew this enables haste, but I still have the little swirls on my on my dude. The spiral. <laughs> Next turn, I'll have some fun with uh, Demon of the Wailing. There aren't a lot of creatures in play, so I'd like to take advantage of that double combat trigger. Makes people sack a creature. I wonder why the left player hasn't played their commander yet. They got plenty of mana. They'd rather just draw go. I suppose. They got something planned over there. Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, Deification's really great for when you have a Planeswalker in your command zone, because it prevents your commander from dying. Anytime that their loyalty we reduced to zero, it's reduced to one counter instead. Pretty slick. That affects both what he's doing to itself, like if he just minus ones a bunch of time, or in damage, making a bunch of blockers. Unfortunately for him, I have a bunch of evasive things, so I don't really care. <laughs> Attacking the Aminatu is not really worth my time, now, so I'm just gonna hit the player and go back to what I was doing. 
Oh, deification acts a lot like worship. He needs a creature in play. Interesting. My demon of wailing agonies is looking a lot better. What's also strange though is active players triggers on the stack first and then he goes on after. So like ideal damage Aminatu, the deification would see that he has two creatures in play. Unfortunately, I can't layer my demon of wailing agonies to happen first. So his commander would die. It's unfortunate and he could force me to use my own curtains call, but that doesn't feel too good just so i could add tax to the aminatu interesting that's a fun little card on etb makes a player discard two cards to prevent xantra from dying he could pay a black to uh regenerate this it kind of helps the middle player a little bit because he wants a creature in play oh he's making me discard that's fine I can just draw a bunch. My Lightning Greaves doesn't seem necessary. My Knight's Whisper doesn't seem necessary. I got the Indominus here. Since he's given me haste, he's a generous man. I wonder if this Stasis Snare picks up the uh, the thing that enables haste for everybody. It does. Ooh, a Strixhaven Stadium is pretty fun. Now the haste enabler is gone, so now I regret discarding my Lightning Greaves. Oh well, I guess I could just tap it down with the Indomitable here. I've never won with Strixhaven Stadium, but we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> We want to tap down our land sources since um, they'll get untapped with nature's will. Nice. ETB gets protection from a color, so you can deny me a damage trigger. It's kind of slick. We want nature's will to happen last, so we'll put this on the bottom, and we'll just start layering things up. And then with my floating mana, I'll draw a bunch of cards. Very productive turn. Tap my lands, and I get to follow up with a bunch of stuff on my main phase two. Yeah, I like this setup, and I have interaction in my hand. Going for the Talisman play. Even if he tutors her board wipe, he would need uh, to interact with me twice on the stack if he wants to keep it. Sun Titan. Going for out of time, so I gotta counter this. And he surrendered. I don't think I've ever seen a white player interact at instant speed as much as I've seen this player do. <laughs> sure, you can make my deed bigger. This says flash, take advantage of my up mana. I guess the flash works nicely with the tokage as well. Comes. We've seen a bunch of things from this guy that does stuff at instant speed on a permanent. And so I might get uh, Strixhaven Stadium kill here. Oh, I just send the demon that way, make him sack his two things. I don't need to use my instant speed removal yet. Oh, that sucks. Shit. Talk about your all time backfires. Unfortunately, my offer I can't refuse. Can't prevent this from happening. I could play my commander again. Why not, I guess? Going all at the right player. I guess he doesn't have safe attacks my way. Well, now he could do the angel thing again. It's a good thing for me. This mono white player has got a hilarious deck. They only do things <laughs> at instant speed. Damn it. Can't finish him off. I need to draw some kind of interaction. Unfortunately, my offer I can't refuse doesn't work on creatures. Whatever. We're going to go to combat to see if he blocks. If I'm going to offer something up for death, it'll be just my commander. It's a recurrable resource. I don't care if it dies. I got a lot of mana too. Comeuppance. Alright, since I have a bunch of man in my hand, I can't use anyways. But deviling my commander. I'm gonna make these boys work to kill my commander. Just gonna try and combine block. Lots of instant speed shenanigans right now. Everyone's getting low on resources. Oh, it doesn't matter. I really don't want to overcommit to the board. I present lethal just with what I have in play. I guess I could play the Geese of the Sunslayer just for a second blocker, and then they could prevent losing counters on here. Yeah, let's do that. My commander is a 15-14 right now. Overloading, wins of abandon. I'll get a bunch of lands out of the deal. We figure that would happen. They don't have enough mana for the angels, so I'll keep on cracking in over there. This white player is incredibly annoying, though. <laughs> so many board wipes. You could drain him for a bunch. Commander costs 11. Get some extra value, play my nettle. God, this white player drives me nuts. Take my beats. Definitely gonna obliette this. Between the two of us, we could just drain him to death since Make it incredibly hard for me to get my uh, combat triggers. Ooh, Brand of Fire is fun. Works great with Xantra. Normally you lose this as steps and phases transition, but since you could sink it into Xantra, you don't care. Criminating Impetus. Makes my thing goaded. So it has to attack. Isn't this a god? Yeah, he's gonna put a indestructible counter on it. Well, this is good for me, because now I could actually get in on here. Um, I could obliate one of his things. He can't play a stupid angel and prevent me from doing stuff. Yeah, this is perfect. I'll go up to eight here, deal damage to him, put two counters on this. And the tyranny of the white player will be over. <laughs> Pretty ready for that. Damn it. Might have enough blockers. Although I could take away the flyer and get in with my nettle specter. That'll be enough. What a 
slobber knocker of a game. Play Obliet, take care of the flyer. God damn it. What a pill. Why can't you just die? I'll just start doing stuff to him. Soraki in bed, set up my next turn. I like how the player on the right's been threatening me left and right about attacking him, but my main concern has been this white player. I, I didn't even notice that he's telling me not to do things to him. This guy has quite the commanding setup, replacing the cards that he plays because all his shit has flash. <laughs> it's really obnoxious. Can't get a single point of damage on him. I'm definitely gonna be activating the Xantra a bunch of times before the right player dies. There's no way the left player lets him live. And I need to refill my hand. Bitter Feud's funny. Choosing himself because he figures he's on his way out the door. <laughs> the mono white player forcing us to team up against him. Don't see that often. I'm gonna do some stuff at sorcery speed just in case I draw something that's useful. Unfortunately, I only have one creature in my graveyard. Damn, he keeps exiling my stuff. That's why we're, we're Rat. Jenna out of aging bad? Yeah, I think he's about to die, so I gotta take advantage of this while I still can. Play my suspicious stowaway. Can't be blocked. Force him to play his angel. Give it haste with my Sir Rock. Untap my lands and do it again. Tap all creatures he doesn't control. That will get around that. Well, just gonna tap down. 31 damage. Yeah, he just kills us both here. He thought it would do more because of bitter feud. Yeah, we just die here. <laughs> what a funny white deck. Definitely doesn't need to be playing spells, but whatever, he wants to go for style points, I guess. He only needs to commit the cat to the right player and everything my way. And that's the game, folks. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I almost pulled off the Strixhaven Stadium win, which that would have been hilarious. Never done it before. I had pretty fun piloting the deck. I got to do the thing, so I don't mind that I lost. If you enjoyed and you stuck around this long, subscribe, because I'm going to be doing plenty of more content. Everyone take care now. Bye.